Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. From today, we are starting a new series on our channel where we will build full stack application with Spring Boot and React. And this video is the first part of the series. And in this video, I will give you the overview of the project. So let's get started. So we can start from our DB. And as you can see here, we have a DB employee underscore DB. And in this DB, we have employee table and we have some random data already inserted. And we will use MySQL workbench to interact with our DB. And for the backend, we will use Spring Boot and we will use IntelliJ to write the code of Java. And here you can see the basic structure of our Spring Boot application where we have controller, entity, repository, and service packages. And for the front end, we will use React and we will write the code in the VS code. And you can see here the basic structure of our React application. Now let's go to the browser and I will show you the working of the project. And as you can see, we are on post new employee page where we have inputs for the employee details and we can fill this information employee name employee email employee phone number and employee department and then we will click on this post employee button to add a new employee in our db so let's say for the name i will put it as test and for the email i will put test at the rate gmail.com and then i will put some random phone number and for the department, I will add HR. Now let's click on this post employee button. And you can see we got redirected to our main page where we can see already existing employees. And on the end, we can see the newly added employee. And after that, we have two buttons. The first button is for update. We can click on this update button and it will redirect us to the update page where we can see the details of employee already patched in the inputs. Now let's update the name of the employee and I will add the update string. Now let's click on this update employee button and you can see we got redirected back to our main page and we can see the name got updated. And after this, we have another button to delete the employee and we can click on this button to remove the employee from the DB. And you can see after the click that employee got removed and we can see the updated record. So this was the overview of the project which we will build in this series. And if you want, you can check out our other playlist where we already uploaded the videos of different projects in Spring Boot and Angular. And that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, you can comment them down below.